Let's talk collectibles. Now, Comic-Con is one of those magical places that holds a different meaning depending on who you are and what you're a fan of. Some people go to show off their incredible cosplay skills. Others want to meet a famous icon in person. Maybe you want to be in Hall H when news drops and a big announcement is made. Or perhaps you just want to soak in the atmosphere. But no matter who you are, when you step foot on the convention floor for the very first time, you're thinking, what am I going to buy? Because collectibles play a huge part in the overall convention experience. Now, although we're enjoying the convention from home this year, that doesn't mean the collecting stops. Exclusives are still out there. The collecting must continue. And there's arguably no bigger collectible maker than Funko. This year, they've got San Diego Comic-Con exclusives. Oh, you better believe it. And they sent us a few so we can show you. The first exclusive I want to show you is Stan Lee. Mr. Comic-Con himself. Arguably, no one person had a bigger presence on that convention floor. This Funko depicts him as he was in Iron Man 1, when he makes a cameo as Hugh Hefner, or a Hugh Hefner type, depending on the legal reason. On the back of the box, you'll see they have included Stan Lee's signature. I think this is particularly a really cool exclusive, especially if you're a Stan Lee fan and a Marvel fan. Keeping on the Marvel train, we have Dark Captain Marvel. Now this version of Captain Marvel appeared in Captain Marvel 12, which came out last year, and she wanted to destroy the Avengers. Now I haven't read it, so no spoilers, but I'm very interested to see if she succeeded. Got a very, very cool red star on her mask, very sinister, with some really interesting details all the way, and the flaming ball of energy in her hand. Now continuing in the House of Mouse, we have this Sith Jet Trooper. Now this particular exclusive has the Sith Jet Trooper actually taking off. His jetpacks are roaring behind him. Now you remember the Sith Jet Trooper first appeared in Rise of the Skywalker and with his very cool shiny red armor and helmet. This is one of the exclusives any of Star Wars Funko collector would want. Now the next exclusive I want to introduce you to is Mr. Ron Burgundy. The anchor man himself. Played by Will Farrell in the 2004 hit comedy Anchorman The Legend of Ron Burgundy. There may be no bigger San Diego icon than Mr. Ron Burgundy. With his burgundy suit, his Channel 4 mug, gold watch in gold ring, and famous moustache. But if one Ron Burgundy isn't enough, what about two? This one has Ron with his famous dog, Baxter. Baxter, you'll remember in the movie, got swift kicked it off a bridge by Jack Black, but in the end, found his way home. There are three other exclusives in the Anchorman set. There is also Ron with his flaming jazz flute, Brick Tamlin, obviously played by Steve Carell, and Brian Fantana, which is actually a scratch and sniff. It smells like Sex Panther, which I've been told is interesting. Last year, for the 50th anniversary of San Diego Comic-Con, Comic-Con actually partnered with Funko to produce Comic-Con branded Funkos. Wow, I said Comic-Con a lot then. But can I introduce you to the Toucan Mascot 2020 exclusive. This one has the Comic-Con logo branded on his chest. He has a red flowing cape. And honestly, I don't think I've ever seen a Toucan with hair. I assume it's feathers, but they are flowing locks. But this is just actually one of the actual branded exclusives. There is another. One that is out of this world. May I introduce you to... Toucan in space. Ready to plant the Comic-Con flag wherever he may land. With his astronaut outfit and helmet that looks way too small for his head. This toucan I have deemed the Moon Can. That is a terrible name. One of the finer details is the SDCC 2020 on the bottom of his boot. These two exclusives may now be the only Comic-Con branded exclusives to never be available at the actual convention. Collector's item? Maybe? Now they are just a few of the Comic-Con exclusives Funko has this year. Currently Funko is running their Virtual Con 3.0. Started Sunday July 19 and will go to Saturday July 25. Every day they have a new Comic-Con related event. They're doing unboxings, exclusive reveals and artist showcases. So you can head over to Funko.com if you want to know more about that. But when it comes to collectibles, 
that's not all. We've got some exclusives from Mattel and McFarlane Toys, just to name a few. So for all your collectible coverage, keep it locked here.